Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and welcome to day six of the 10 day wire earrings to make and sell challenge. Be sure to watch till the end of the video to learn how to be eligible to win some great prizes in the challenge. Today I'm making simple coiled flower earrings. We are going to use 18 gauge artistic wire, flush cutters, flat pliers, round pliers, and the beetle on bale making pliers. We will start with about six inches of the 18 gauge artistic wire and we are going to wind it around the end of a pen. So just wind it around six times around the pen. Better to cut your wire a little long so you have more wire to work with. And then at the end, we're going to give it a big push so it's nice and tightly around that pen. Remove it and then we'll get our flush cutters and we are going to cut one end flush. Just give it a good little clip and then we're going to flip it around. We're going to make sure we have six coils and then we're going to clip the other end flush. So now we're going to separate the coils and I'm just going to use my tweezer nose pliers to pull them apart, keeping them connected in the center and spreading them around the outside of the flower. So we're just going to bend them slightly, just a little flick of the wrist, holding the wire and just pushing apart the coils. Get the tweezer nose pliers in there and give it a little push. So that's our starting point and then we need to spread the coils so they're evenly distributed. So we're just going to hold one of the coils and push with the pliers to separate them and make sure they're evenly spaced and they make the flower. So just adjust it as much as you need to so that the coils line up into a six point kind of star or flower. Wiggle them around so they're all lined up. And now we're going to get one and three quarter inches of a hypoallergenic wire. We're going to cut two pieces. Make sure the ends are lined up and cut flush. And then we're going to turn the ends into a loop with the beetle on bale making pliers. And then with the wider part of the bale making pliers, we're going to turn the wires around to form a hook. So then we want to turn them around so we could access the bottom, line up the tips of the wires, and then get your flat pliers and bend them out at a bit of an angle. And then you need to file the ends so they're not scratchy. So we're going to make some jump rings with the 18 gauge wire. So just grab a piece and turn the wire around the bale making pliers a few times. And then we're going to clip the end flush, flip the pliers to clip the other side flush so we can have our jump rings. So now that's the bottom of the flower and we're going to attach the jump ring at the top and then we are going to add our hook onto the jump ring. So now we need to close up that jump ring. So just with the two flat pliers, we're going to close up that jump ring. And there we have our super cute and simple coiled flower earring made with the 18 gauge wire. So now we're going to take six inches about of the 18 gauge wire again. And we're going to this time make the coil around the bale making pliers. So again, we need to go around six times and just keep turning them around. If that little end gets stuck, just remove them and clip that end flush, put them back on the bale making pliers and keep going around making a nice even coil to make a slightly smaller size 
flower. So we'll go around six times and then we'll clip the end flush. So the two ends are on the same side. Now to separate them, if you don't have fingernails, you can use your round nose pliers and just kind of push them in there to separate the coils. And then as before, we're going to just little flick of the wrist, open up those coils to form the flower. Or you can call it a star. Kind of looks like a snowflake too. So we are going to separate those coils, spread them out so they're evenly spaced and that they all line up. Take your time with this to make them nice and even. And then you see this one's a little smaller than the first one. And we're going to make it a little more fancy. So we're going to make one of those fancy head pins from day one of the earring challenge. So we're going to make a Celtic style knot at the end of a couple of inches of the 20 gauge artistic wire. So make three little loops and then you want the wire centered and pointing up. Just adjust it so it's centered. And then you can use your nylon jaw pliers just to press it a little bit. And I'm going to add a little faceted bead. Cut the end to 3 8 to half an inch with our flush cutters. And then get our bail making pliers again and make a centered loop above the bead. So once you've made the loop, we are going to open it up and add it to the bottom of the flower. So we'll close it up and we have our little dangle there. And then to add the earring hook, we'll need a jump ring. And then we're going to add our hook and close up the jump ring with the flat pliers. And there you have your beautiful flower earrings with the little dangles. And then you can also make multi-flower earrings as well. The challenge starts on June 1st, 2024. Make one pair of earrings from each day to be eligible to win some great prizes, including wire and tools from Beadalon, jewelry and wire art from my Heather Boyd Wire Etsy shop, and templates, tutorials, and ebooks from my Etsy DIY shop. I will be doing a random draw for winners of the prizes on Saturday, June 15th at 12 noon Eastern time. Be sure to join the Facebook group for my 10 day challenges to share photos of your creations. If you don't have Facebook, no problem. You can email me photos of your work at the end of the challenge to be eligible for prizes. For the duration of the challenge, you will be able to ask any questions about selling jewelry in the Facebook group. And I encourage you to share your wins when you sell some of your earrings. All the details are down below in the description of this video. Have fun with the challenges and I can't wait to see what you create.